Hello viewers. Today we have a wonderful piece of fiction that is entitled The Making of Scientist. It has been composed by Robert W. Peterson. Robert W. Peterson was an American newspaper writer who later became a freelance author of magazine articles and books, especially on the topics of sports and scouting. He was a writer and editor with the old New York work known as Telegram newspaper, which folded in 1966. It was unfortunate for him that Robert W. Peterson died on 11th February 2006 in Pennsylvania that is located in United States. As the chapter is, there are many qualities that one must be obsessively, passionately and pathologically curious in order to become a scientist with genuine qualities. The development of a scientist is a process that requires proper support and environment from family and society. One should be able to escape from the exile of an actual world and create a private world driven by influences of other successful people and nature to create a true scientist out of oneself. Becoming a scientist is fruitful for the human civilization. When we reach our optimum point of expertise and spread to other fields. One can be a successful scientist if one is competitive and has the will to win. The making of scientist is the story and journey of that. Richard Everett was the only child of his parents. He became everything for his mother after his father's death. She was his only companion until he started school. She would take him on trips. She would also bring different instruments for him like microscope, telescope and camera. The mother encouraged his interest in learning. She bought him a book titled The Travel of Monarch X. This book opened the world of butterflies for Aberright and motivated him to research on them. The present piece of article is an account of a curious child channelizing his curiosity to become a scientist. Aberright was a highly curious child since his childhood. His mother is his only companion. 
she helped in further deepening his curiosity. Everett began his journey by collecting butterflies. After that, he walked on tagging the monarch butterflies. It could be benefited. Later on, he did research on utility of gold spots on pupa of monarch butterflies. He became famous when his paper on working of cell was published in a scientific journal. Everett participated in many science exhibitions, but winning an award for the sake of winning was never his goal. He participated in those exhibitions because he wanted to do a task as best as that could be done. When Richard Everett was of 22 years old and his colleague roommate James R. Wong presented a new theory on how cells work in an article in the Proceeding of the Net National Academy of Science. It was the first time this important scientific journal had ever published the work of a college student. For Richard Everett, it was the first in a long string of achievement in science and other fields. Everett was the only child of his parents, as I told you before. They lived in north of Reading, Pennsylvania. Everett could not play football or baseball alone, but he could collect things. It was his hobby. He was very much interested since his childhood to collect those antique things also. So, Everett started collecting butterflies in a kindergarten. His mother encouraged him. She took him on the trips. She also bought him telescopes, microscopes, cameras and other scientific gadgets. Everett's mother said that she was his friend until he had started a school. Everett earned top grades in his school. When he was in second grade, he had collected all the 25 species of butterflies found around his hometown. This would have been the end of his butterfly collection. But then, his mother got him a children's book called The Travel of Monarchs X. That book was about how monarch butterflies migrate to Central America. At the end of the book, readers were invited to help study butterfly migration by tagging butterflies for research by Dr. Frederick A. Urquhart of the University of Toronto, that is in Canada. A bride's mother wrote to Dr. Urquhart, Frederick A. Urquhart, and soon a bride was attaching light adhesive attached to the wings of monarch. Anyone who found a tagged butterfly was asked to send the tag to Dr. Urquhart. Richard found it difficult to catch a monarch butterfly. 
so he used to catch a female monarch take her eggs and raise them in his basement then the would tag the butterflies and let them go for several years his basement was home to thousands of monarchs in different stages of development but then he started to lose interest in tagging butterflies because of lack of feedback when he was in the 7th grade he had started participating in country science fairs when he was in 8th grade he submitted a project on the cause of a disease which killed monarchs caterpillars every few years he won prizes for this project the next year he was preparing himself upon different projects also the next year his science fair project was a testing the theory that butterfly butterflies copy monarchs this project was placed first in the zoology division and third overall in the country science fair in his second year in high school richard avright began the research on the purpose of 12 tiny gold spots on a monarch poop he built a device that showed that the spots were producing a hormone necessary for the butterfly's full development this project won a bright first prize in the country fair and entry into the international science and engineering fair there he won third place for zoology he also get a chance to work during the summer at the entomology laboratory of the walter reed army institute of research he also got a chance to work during the summer at the entomology laboratory of the walter reed army institute research as a high school junior richard avright continued his advanced experiments on the monarch poop that year his project won first place at the international science fair in his senior year he grew cells from a monarch's wings in a culture and showed that the cell would divide and develop into normal butterfly wings a scale only if they were fed the hormones from the gold spots this project won first place for zoology at the international fair the following summer while working at the laboratory of the department of agriculture he was able to identify the harmonies chemical structure a year and a half later abright got the idea for his new theory about cell life while he was looking at the x-ray photos of the chemical structure of a hormone his theory threw the light on how can cell read the blueprints of its dna if abright theory proves correct then it will be a big step towards understanding the process of life it might also lead to new ideas for preventing some types of cancer and other diseases and all this 
has become possible because of Abraid security. Abraid had the qualities of a first-rate mind and a will to win. He pursued other interests also like debating, canoeing and photography. He became a champion debater and public speaker during his lifetime. The making of scientists totally depends on the curiosity of any person as you have seen in the personality of Everett. The language used by the writer is very straightforward, simple and lucid. The message of the making of scientists is quite simple. This simple story conveys the message that a person's curious mind, his ability to research for answer and his hard work help him achieve his goal. And no doubt, those person, those personalities which have a wonderful brain, having curiosity to achieve the target, they can do and perform well. This is the short account of the making of a scientist. With these words, I conclude today's lecture saying all of you, thanks a lot, thank you very much.